Hello! Jay Satura joined by the coach, Jack Armstrong. Jack, first of all, how are you doing? How's your voice doing? My voice is doing a lot better, thank goodness. I had lost it for a while, but every day I feel a little bit better. And for a broadcaster, no voice, no game. Hey, well, you know what? We had a lot of it's fans. It's like having a sprained ankle, you yeah. know? Oh, yeah, yeah. And we had a lot of fans asking online, you know, get well soon. Jack was at trending on Twitter. So uh, everyone's glad to have you back. And, well, uh, I'm happy now I'm off meds, too. That helps a great deal. You know, I just uh, now you can enjoy the post-game libation, so that always helps. Well, this, is, this is the insight you get on Ask Jack, ladies and gentlemen. But, of course, we got a lot of questions, Jack, a lot of questions about the, the recent trade the Raptors made to acquire Rudy Gay. So this is going to be an all-trade edition of Ask Jack. All right, let's do it. All right, first question's coming to us from Gerard, and he's asking, uh, you know, how does the presence of Rudy Gay here now help space the floor for the Raptors and which one of the Raptors stands to benefit the most from Rudy Gay's arrival? You know, it's interesting. Even though, even though n neither guy is a great shooter, um, you know, in, in a DeMar DeRozan or a Rudy Gay in terms of perimeter shooting, what you have, though, is I think for a guy like DeMar DeRozan of late, his numbers have tailed off a little bit. And I think because of the fact that teams have really cheated on him and loaded up defensively on him a little bit, I think having a guy now like Rudy Gay in the lineup is going to focus the defense maybe in a little different direction. And I think it's going to allow DeMar DeRozan maybe to have a little more space to operate and a little better opportunity uh, to have a chance and when he catches the ball to not have a second defender sitting right in his lap. So I think it could benefit him a great deal. I think ultimately, though, it, it benefits the overall offense by having a guy at the end of the shot clock who can get his own shot, who can create... Uh, who's, who's a proven scorer in this league. And more importantly, I think we all know the Raptors have been in search for quite a while for a legitimate starting small forward. They got it.